did. Right, right in the middle of, of a discussion of ladies' lingerie. This, this gentleman you're about to see, is uh, he's got a pretty good track record. He, he's a former member of the Birds. He at one time was a new Christy minstrel. Would you please welcome our next guest on Nashville now, Gene Clark. here on the couch. Hello, Gene. Hey, Welcome to our show. Gene, how much do you know about corsets? <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about them. Good. It's actually. always better to admit when you don't know. Pleading ignorance is usually the best course. Where are you from? Uh, originally from Missouri. Who was, who was in the New Christie Minstrels group when you were? Okay. Uh, people like Barry McGuire, Larry Ramos, uh, Gail Caldwell, Jackie Miller, uh, Nick Woods, uh, Barry Kane. So I've often heard you, uh, if you had a reunion of the new Christie Minstrels, you'd have to hold it in Shea Stadium in order to, in order to get the entire group inside of one, inside of one area. Yeah, probably There's been be a lot, true. Of, lot of guys and a lot of girls that worked in that group. Awful lot of people that were Kenny, in Kenny the group. Rogers was Kenny there. Rogers, Kim Carnes. I mean, you could go down the list for a day, I think, with all the people that were there. What are the Christies dormant? You know, I'm not sure. Uh, I heard uh, from some people that they still play around once in a while. There is a group called the Christies. I'm, I'm not completely positive of that, you know. Was that, was that a stepping stone for you? Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, I uh, had been playing in a club in Kansas City at the time, uh, and they came through town, and it was one of those stories where the, you know, the guys came in, they were looking for a place to go after the show they did, and they came in and uh, saw the show, and they said, hey, we need a guy in the group. How big was the group? Ten people. Um, lots of guitars and banjos. <laughs> this was sort of in the, the hoot nanny era, wasn't it? Yeah, you bet. Now, did the birds follow this career? The Birds followed almost immediately, actually. Uh, 
what got me into the concept of the birds myself was uh, I heard the Beatles and uh, I felt at that time after hearing them and uh, listening to one of their records all night long I was in Norfolk Virginia I remember that and uh, I thought to myself, I said, this, these guys got something that's more than just a fad. And I really felt that way. So uh, I came the next morning to Nick Wood and I gave him notice. I said, Nick, I'm going to quit, you know. And he says, you so-and-so. And, -so. and <laughs> that was it. I went back to L.A. and I met uh, Roger McGuinn and then shortly after David Crosby. And we became a trio. Then we met Chris Hillman and Mike Clark and uh, decided to become a band. So it was you, Roger McGuinn, and David Crosby in the beginning? In the beginning, right. What would you call yourselves then? Well, we had a couple of different names. We were trying to think of something that sounded English, so we uh, for a while called it the Beefeaters. Then uh, uh, Roger said, well, no, I think I'd like the uh, name the Jet Set better. We tried that for a little while and ended up with the birds. Why the birds? I have no real idea why. I always wonder if, if all of you went to see that Hitchcock picture <laughs> and decided, hey, that's, that's it. <laughs> no, I, actually, you want to know how funny it was? We decided, we, we figured out the name over Thanksgiving dinner. We're all sitting there looking at the turkey, and we, we thought, well, we don't want to call it the turkeys. You know? so you, but, every, but usually everybody refers to the bird. The birds, right. Okay. All right, we'll take a break.